Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and welcome to Bitcoin Basics. Today, I'm going to show you how to buy some Bitcoin and then store it safely and securely in your own wallet. And for today's demonstration, I'm going to be using my Ledger Nano X. So let's jump in. So I'm sure you've been hearing about Bitcoin in the news and you're wondering how do I get my hands on Bitcoin and if I have it, how do I store it? So I'm going to go over the very basics here. I'll show you how to buy it and then how to transfer it into your own wallet. I'll keep it simple and short for you. So the best way to buy Bitcoin is on Coinbase. It's one of the largest and most trusted cryptocurrency exchanges out there. I'll start Start with Coinbase. I'll probably do some other videos on some different exchanges like Kraken or Uphold, but today we'll focus on Coinbase. So the first thing you'll need to do is get a Coinbase account set up. Just go to Coinbase.com and sign up just like you would for an Amazon account or anything else. Once you have your account set up, you're going to want to buy a little Bitcoin. Now there's two ways to buy Bitcoin on Coinbase. One is easy and the other one is a little bit cheaper. The easiest way is to just go on to regular Coinbase here and click the buy sell button and you're gonna wanna buy Bitcoin. It's the default cryptocurrency, so it's already queued up here for you. Uh, if you click down here, you can switch between other cryptocurrencies, but Bitcoin is the default. And then you can pay with your bank account. So you might have add bank account down here or add payment method. I've already set up my bank accounts. That's also very easy to do. Uh, and once you've got that lined up, you'll just decide how much you want to buy. If you want to buy 50 or if you want to buy $100 worth of Bitcoin, uh, this is the easiest, quickest way to buy Bitcoin. Now, keep in mind here that when you do it this way, you're going to be getting a merchant charge, which is a little bit steep, but you're basically paying for the convenience. Now, the cheaper way to buy Bitcoin on Coinbase is to go over here to the right side and click on the little account icon over here and you can switch between regular Coinbase and advanced Coinbase. So when you go over to advanced Coinbase, it looks a little scary, I'll give it that. There's a lot of information here that you can get overwhelmed by, but the basic thing you wanna do is put a little money in your account. So if it, this is your first time, you'll wanna do a deposit, and then you'll wanna deposit some US dollars in your account. And you can do that very quickly by just typing in the amount that you would like to put in and then choose review. And notice here that this isn't going to cost you anything. This is completely free. So once you have your bank account set up and attached to your Coinbase account, all you have to do is make a quick deposit of cash into your account and then you can trade. Now trading is a little more complicated, but the fees are a lot cheaper. So uh, you can choose your pair up here at the top left, and you have a lot of pairs to choose from, but we'll stick with the major pair, which is Bitcoin US dollar. So this is where you can swap your Bitcoin for dollars or swap your dollars for Bitcoin. So in today's case, we're going to swap our dollars for Bitcoin by choosing the Buy tab. I'm going to use Market because it's quick and easy. Uh, if you want to get fancy, you could do a limit or a stop limit order. And I have cash in my account already. If we go over to portfolio here, you can see that I have $100 in my account already. So we'll just go back over here to the trading interface. Uh, we'll stick with buy and market, and then I'll click max. I only have $100 in here. It's a quick, easy amount to do this demo. Notice that our fee for this trade is only 55 cents on a $100 purchase. So when you use the trade method, your fee is going to be a lot less. You remember over on regular Coinbase, it was $2.99. So when you use advanced Coinbase, make a deposit and then do a trade, your fee is going to be a lot less. 
We'll click buy BTC. All right, so now we have Bitcoin in our account. You can see right here that uh, I've got Bitcoin in my account. And what I wanna do is transfer that into my own wallet. So I'm going to be using Ledger Live. This is the software that you will install when you set up your Ledger device. I've got a bunch of great videos on how to get Ledger Live installed and how to get your device set up and ready to go. Uh, but the important thing today I'm going to show you is how to make a basic Bitcoin transfer from point A to point B. Point A being our cryptocurrency exchange where we made our purchase. Point B being our own wallet where we can store our Bitcoin safely and securely. Now, if you're interested in a Ledger device, Ledger is running a special right now with this really cool translucent orange Ledger Nano X. And when you buy it, they're going to donate $5 for Bitcoin longevity. Uh, basically, they're going to make a donation to Brink.dev, which is a nonprofit organization that supports Bitcoin developers. Now, you can buy the Ledger Nano X which is their flagship device that has Bluetooth and mobile connectivity, or you can buy the Ledger Nano S Plus, which has the same amount of app storage and the same size screen. It just lacks that Bluetooth connectivity and the mobility features. But this is a great little wallet that you can use in the privacy of your own home with your computer. And as well, if you buy the Ledger Nano S Plus, they're also going to make that $5 donation to the uh, Brink.dev organization. All right, so I've got my uh, accounts listed here. These are all the cryptocurrencies that I'm managing. Don't let this uh, overwhelm you. You may just have one. Uh, I'm going to use my uh, Bitcoin main account so that you can see how this works. I've got my account pulled up here. All I need to do to receive Bitcoin is click this little button and uh, get a receiving address. Now, it's best practice to double check that your device is uh, properly synced to this account. All right, so I have my device ready here. I've unlocked it, I've entered my PIN, and it's connected to my computer. So when I click continue here, it's going to do the hardware check. It's asking me to open the Bitcoin app. I'll do that by clicking both buttons. When it tells me Bitcoin's ready, it's going to do the check on my computer screen. When you're using this device, you want to make sure that you're looking both at your screen and your device because sometimes the device is prompting you and sometimes the screen is prompting you. So you want to keep an eye on what's going on in both places. Now, as you can see on the device, it's showing me the Bitcoin receiving address. That's the same address that I see on my screen. So you'll want to just double check, make sure that those addresses match. And once you've done that, you have verified that your hardware device is properly synced to this account and you can safely put Bitcoin in here and manage it with your device. I'll go ahead and advance by hitting this metal button over to the approve section, and then I'll click both buttons. Make sure that you uh, click this little icon here and copy that address into your clipboard before you do this, because it's going to go away when we do that. All right, so we have the address in our clipboard. Let's go back over to Coinbase. I can safely remove my device at this point if I want to. You don't need to keep your device attached when you're making a transfer. Uh, we only needed the device to do our hardware check. Everything else is going to happen on the blockchain. All right, so we can see our Bitcoin in our account here. Let's go up to the withdraw button. Now we're not cashing out of our account. We're withdrawing Bitcoin. Be aware of the terminology. A withdraw in crypto terms is a send, right? So we want to click on the send tab and then it's going to show you the cryptos that you have available for withdrawal. We can decide how much we want to withdraw. 
I'm going to withdraw all of it today, but always do small tests when you're transferring crypto. Crypto transactions are irreversible, so it's always best practice to do a small test transaction before you transfer huge amounts. So do a little test, make sure it gets to where you're sending it, and then you can send the rest. All right, for the to field, the recipient, right? We're not going to be using an email or a phone number. We're going to be using a properly formatted Bitcoin receiving address. That's what we got from our wallet. So we'll choose that. And then we'll go ahead and do a preview send. All right, there is a small network fee. Bitcoin network fees are pretty high right now because of all the excitement in uh, Bitcoin going on right now. Uh, you can mitigate your network fee by doing this late at night or early in the morning, but this is a fact of life. Uh, but I'm willing to pay this price in order to get this Bitcoin into my own wallet. So we'll hit send now. And I have two-factor authentication enabled, so I need my two-factor. And then we're done. And then you can go back over to your uh, Ledger Live. It just took a couple of minutes for it to hit my wallet. Um, notice that this earlier transaction is uh, green, and when I hover over it, it says confirm. This one is orange, and it says not confirmed. That does not mean that you don't have it. It just means that it is not yet spendable. It has to confirm on the Bitcoin blockchain. But as soon as you see that incoming transaction, you can rest assured that the Bitcoin Bitcoin is safe and secure in your wallet. So that's it. That's all it takes to buy a little Bitcoin and store it in your own wallet safely and securely. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.